Hey gang, Scott here. On one juiced up the perfect eraser in Photo Raw 2025. They've added two automatic distraction removal buttons, one for dust spots, one for power lines. I'll show you how they work. Yeah, it's click a button, but also I'll show you uh, where you might need to pay attention to some of the details uh, in case the automatic removal gets a little aggressive. There's some scenes I find it works well for other scenes. I think I'm going to take more control and do some of um, those retouches myself using other tools. We'll go through it here in this video. And real quick, if you are thinking about upgrading to Photo Raw 2025 or adding any of the on one tools to your toolkit, check the show notes. I have an offer code down there for you. Saves you money, gives me a little support so I can do more videos like this. Uh, so let's take a look at uh, these two new buttons in the perfect eraser. This photo here, an unprocessed raw photo, and there are all sorts of sensor boogers all over the place. Let's get into our retouching group and we'll choose the perfect eraser. And you'll see two new buttons, reduce dust and reduce power lines. And for this photo, we'll reduce dust, but let's take a look at visualizing that dust first. And we can see you now the really big stuff here, all sorts of spots all over the place, some real bad ones over on the right side. This was a, a very dirty sensor. Uh, so we'll click reduce dust and it's as simple as that. You click the button, on one goes to work, start looking around at the photo, figuring out what needs to be taken care of. And it's come back and said, okay, I'm done. Uh, let's visualize again. It did pretty good. It didn't get this like big squiggle here and I still have my perfect eraser. So fine, I'll take care of that. And this, you know, this one's like, it could be part of the clouds. It could be a dust spot. This is where you, the photographer, need to make a judgment call. Um, I tend to remove things if it could be construed as a spot. And so in this case, I'm going to get rid of that little piece there. Now, the other small ones where I go back to visualize and I see other things, you know, again, that you know, this is probably, probably sensor just because of the grouping uh, and this one here for sure. But I won't worry about those unless and until they start to become visible in the processing, right? This is always the thing with dust spots. Even when you're doing that visualize and removing things, sometimes things just don't appear even when you're doing your, uh, your processing. So they become don't cares. So the remove dust, it's certainly a good jump start. Uh, that's been my experience so far. Hit it. It's getting rid of a bunch of things that you would have done yourself manually anyway. I haven't found a photo yet where it got everything. Let's turn over to uh, to power lines and see how that's working. Like this photo here clearly has some power lines cutting through the scene. You know, very unattractive, certainly not adding to the story of, uh, of this photo. Uh, so let's click the reduce power lines button in the perfect eraser and let's on one think about that. And while it's doing that, what we're going to do once it finishes is we're going to take a look at what changed, undo and do again so you can see where uh, where the power line removal can sometimes either get confused or get a little bit aggressive. That's finished up and for the sky, absolutely wonderful results. That is just great. However, I want to direct your attention to the lower left portion of the photo. And in particular, you'll notice like this shadow line here, there's some interesting artifacting that's paralleling it, some weird cuts in between it. Uh, there's, there's an artifact here. And actually some of the grasses around the fence got removed. That part, not so important, but here undo. You see a lot of things came back, right? You know, some grasses over here, grasses over there, grasses by the fence, and then that shadow got filled in versus after. Yeah, the sky's great, but there are some other little things that aren't quite right. And for this case, you know, what what would you what would you do? Well, I would certainly try the power lines button because for the sky, when you just have power lines that kind of just drape through the sky, it does a great job. And for these other little bits, like the grass around the fence, I don't really care about that. The slats on the side of the church, I didn't hear. Yeah, I kind of do. And so what's more difficult for me to do? You know, clean this up and remove the rest of this. Um, 
this artifact here to un undo this this smudging that's probably kind of difficult compared to just removing the lines uh, manually myself using the perfect eraser uh, or you know using some of the the, the gen AI uh, generative erase that's in in uh, photo raw 2025 now that might be an easier job so try the power lines but measure and check things to to make sure it's not gotten too aggressive uh, where I find that both the uh, reduce dust and reduce power lines. You notice they use the word reduce, right? It, they're not saying we're going to get rid of everything. It is reduction. Um, it works well. Dust spots, it's almost a, yeah, I'll hit it and I'll use it almost all the time. I will do that before and after check. And I do expect that there will be a few dust spots I'll have to take care of myself or like we saw earlier, things that could be construed as a spot where the AI decided this isn't a spot, but I, the photographer, might say, you know, but it, it kind of looks like a smudge. I'm going to get rid of it. Hit the dust spots one. Just make sure it hasn't uh, done anything unusual in other areas of the photo, and it will speed up your workflow. Power lines, similar story. The scenes where the power lines are, are less uh, complex, they don't intersect with buildings, they're not reaching down into buildings, and you don't have as many, um, like just uh, things that could confuse the AI where it starts to see shadows of those lines, or there are just other crisp prominent lines in a photo that could look like power lines to an AI. I mean, the AIs aren't perfect. We're, we, we, st we still get the, uh, the advantage there as the photographer. But try it out. Make sure you do an undo, redo a few times as you watch different sections of your photo. And, and yeah, I'm hoping to see more improvements in, in the power lines in particular over time. It's pretty much on par with what I've seen with other AI models uh, for power lines. Works really well when they're isolated in the sky, has some challenges for other situations. Either way, we have these tools now in Photo Raw 2025. Uh, they can jumpstart your retouching, especially the dust spots one. And I'll, I'll be putting them to use. I hope you found the video useful. Got questions, drop them below. And until next time, my name's Scott Davenport. Have fun.